Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Home Life with Rebecca. This is Vlogmas number eight. It is almost two in the afternoon. I'm just having some of that black winter tea in a Christmas cup with some milk and sugar. I'm just gonna make some more um, cookies because we ate all the chocolate chip ones, but I haven't, I really haven't done much of anything today. <laughs> I was looking online to see um, what I could possibly purchase for like uh, stocking stuffers, but anyway, time got away from me. So I thought I would just jump on here. Um, what I wanted to do today was um, the Holly Jolly tag that I usually do with my husband, Adam, but uh, I was gonna do it on his lunch break, but he had stuff to do, so I probably will save that for another day and maybe get um, one of the older kids to do it with me. I'm trying to get Allison, my oldest, to do a vlog with me. She promised me she would talk about budgeting and <laughs> so far, obviously, that has not happened. But speaking of budgets, um, usually for Christmas, we budget about $100 per kid. Um, last year, we, I mean, we didn't have like a ton of money, but we weren't. I feel like last year was one of the first Christmases in a long while where we weren't really struggling. I feel like we're always struggling at the worst time of the year. Um, many of you know that we are just a one income family. We are a family of eight. Um, I do not work. I do get a little bit of money for um, staying home because of my youngest disability. She gets like SSI um, because she has so many appointments. And then all my other kids have so many appointments. It's kind of impossible for me to work right now. But you know, we make do, we live very frugal we don't go on vacations we don't um spend money on things that we don't need well i mean okay let me rephrase that like big purchases like yes yeah, sometimes i buy like stickers or <clears throat> you know things like that that you obviously don't need but i meant like we had the money maybe to uh my husband wanted a truck really bad to have like a toolbox and keep his stuff in and you know four wheel drive because of the area we live in is really um snowy but we had paid we had paid off our other vehicle and we didn't have car payment so we really didn't want to have another car payment but he wanted something so that you know we could haul stuff to the dump or you know if we had to get um an appliance or something we don't have to have it delivered so instead of like getting a truck and being stuck with the payment like we purchased a trailer instead so things like that um like he's been wanting a bigger tv forever like our tvs are super old and they're not big personally i don't really care <laughs> i'm like if we get an, a bigger tv then i have to move my shelves all my decorations my cozy decor so obviously we don't see eye to eye on that but he really wants a bigger tv but and he's wanted one for i don't know five years now but we never get it because our tvs still work so it's that kind of thing even like when we get our tax return he just we just don't spend the money on things that we really don't need um but this christmas <laughs> this christmas has been Actually, I'm gonna say this Christmas has probably been less stressful because I'm not running around the store as a crazy person and trying to buy presents for everybody because we honestly, we can't. So it's going to be a little Christmas and that's okay. And my kids seem to be okay with it. I did get Kennedy something from Santa Claus, um, you know, cause she's my youngest and you know, it goes by really fast. So there is that, like I said, I was trying to do at least like some stocking stuffers and some like practical things, maybe not fun things. I think, um, so I have six kids living at home. I think out of all the kids, like their friends, we are the only family that doesn't own like a gaming system. Well, Allie 
Ali has an Xbox, a used one that her boyfriend gave her. I don't even think it works. <laughs> so it's funny though, because my kids will be like, oh, my friends don't want to hang out here because it's boring. But yeah, I think their friends like, the, at least the older kids, they, they like to come over here. I think it's, you know, I'm, they usually have dinner or snacks for them. Um, I think it's just a comfortable vibe at our house. But you know, of course my kids say our house is boring. So I'm not really sure where I was going with this vlog. Oh, the budgeting thing. Yeah, we don't really have one this year. Like I say, usually we do $100 per kid, so. Um, I know the school reached out to me about the Angel Tree program. So again, those are more practical gifts because I was not about to write things on the tags like, you know, cell phone or something ridiculous that I'm sure my kids would want that kind of stuff. But, you know, they they really did ask for like practical, she practical sheets, <laughs> practical things like flannel sheets and um, jacket, um, snow gloves very very practical so um plus uh, it's a little bit hard because my daughter my oldest daughter is graduating early she graduates in january and she has the option to walk with her class come june but i have not had the money to do like senior pictures or the cap and gown pictures i tried to take some senior pictures and we went to the pumpkin patch but it was so windy and I can probably take them myself. I just need to set aside the time to do it. I just feel like she's been so busy and I've been so busy. And then, uh, you know, obviously would like to get her graduation present. She got straight A's and actually all my kids got really good report cards. Parker, um, he got all A's and B's. He's never, ever gotten that before. So as much as people wanna give me crap, nobody on here, I don't want I take that back. Nobody's giving me crap. As much as people want to say that ADHD or, you know, uh, getting them tested, like it's just an excuse to let them misbehave or not do schoolwork. It's not true because since I've gotten Parker tested and he was officially diagnosed with ADHD and he was put on um, Adderall and he went through that testing and I got a program in place with his school. I mean, it's a total 180. Is it 180 or 360? 180, right? I mean, he went from C's and D's and F's to, I mean, he would like struggle till the very last minute to get his grades pulled up just so he would pass to A's and B's. I mean, that is like night and day. He is not cutting school. So he, it controls those impulses. I mean, just all my kids, I feel like are doing really well in school. I think the only one kind of having a little bit of trouble right now is Tiffany. Um, and I think that's just because it's um, high school and she's got honor classes, so it's um, she's got a lot of work. She's got a lot on her plate, so but her grades are still still good. And you saw Jillian's report card, and Wesley got almost straight A's. And you know Kennedy doesn't really have letter grades yet, but she's reading. You guys, that's she's my one with autism, and she's reading. It's unbelievable. She's. It's so, it's so cute, like, and she's doing math. They're like doing multiplication tables and she's just, uh, it's just, her school is wonderful. Okay. So yeah, no, so no Christmas budget. Um, I finally got to do some grocery shopping yesterday, which was much, much needed. <laughs> I stocked up on canned chicken, cans of tomato sauce, cans of diced tomatoes, chicken broth again. Um, um, chicken, the frozen chicken tenderloins. What else did I get? Uh, eggs, I cannot believe how expensive eggs are. I was like, wow, it doesn't even matter if they're organic. I, I just, eggs are unbelievable right now. I got some apples, um, some, some baking stuff cause we were running low on like flour and stuff like that. But it just, it goes fast. I mean, I didn't even get any like fun, snacks for the kids. I got the cheapest granola bars I could find and um, the kids were really wanting the small bags of chips but I I could not buy them so I bought the, the bigger bags at Sam's Club, some tortilla chips and then some just the Lay's, the yellow chips so the kids could at least have that with sandwiches and stuff. Um, I got some bagels. Yeah, that's like pretty much it. I, it just, it, groceries are just terrible right now it's really hard 
it's really hard, but at the same time, I'm so glad that um, we took precautions and we stocked up on canned stuff because, and I am, I'm good. I don't know if it's gonna be a Christmas vlog because that might be a weird Christmas vlog, canned chicken Christmas vlog. But I do have so many recipes that I've been like using the canned chicken for. I would do more with tuna, but there's only three people in my house that like it, so I like it. I don't like tuna casserole though. I am so off topic. What else was I gonna talk about? Um, when Jillian and Kennedy get home, I think we're going to run to the Dollar Tree because Jillian has some leftover birthday money that my sister gave her when she was here. And she wants to buy a couple of her friends at school. You know, just some little presents. Their last day of school before Christmas break is next Friday. And then she has like a gift exchange at school and they just ask that you don't spend more than $5. So, you know, sometimes the Dollar Tree has really, really cute stuff. So I thought that I would um, take her and Kennedy over there. I might even wait for Tiff and Wes to come home to see if they wanna pick up something for their friends. Cause uh, I think Wesley only has a dollar though. So <laughs> I don't know how much money Tiffany has right now. But I feel like this Christmas, like my kids are getting older. So they, even though I'm not, they don't know um, all of our financial situation, like why we're so broke right now. And it's just because again, we're one income and we were really trying really hard to have um, a savings and an emergency fund. And it's when we got that leak, it caused massive damage in our house. And it's, yeah, the homeowner's insurance is paying for some of it, but as we're, pulling up stuff, we're finding other stuff, which kind of is a blessing in disguise because it's good to catch it now before it like gets even worse, but it's just like my, we're using, we're back in, in like debt now with credit cards because we had no other, nowhere else to pull it. And so now I've got to, when our tax return comes, like it'll just be to pay off the money we've spent on credit cards to get stuff fixed. It's just been pretty bad, our washing machine the part's still not here, you guys. Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't even want to get into that because I don't I don't want to be depressed in the Christmas season. Because Jesus is the reason for the season. And every time I start feeling myself get depressed or anxious or worried, I have to tell myself that because there is blessings all around us. And as far as my dad goes, like... that's probably the hardest part of all for me because I, I want to see him so much and facetiming talking on the phone like i'm thankful for all the technology but it's just not the same but our car our car will make it i can't we can't i can't afford to fly and i can't adam can't afford to take off work and he gets christmas break off with the kids but again our car won't make it and i don't want to leave my kids christmas so Plus, my dad was very adamant about, because he's going through chemo, chemo and radiation right now, that he just, again, cannot take a chance with, you know, the flu going around and crossing state lines, uh, like him getting COVID or something, because he's basically got no immune system. So it just, it is what it is, but I, it is hard. That is hard, because... Yeah, you always say, I think back to the last time I saw him, like, I hope that's not the last time I was going to hug him. You know what I mean? Like that, that part's hard. Anyway, again, Jesus is the reason for the season. We got to focus our eyes on Christ. So I'm going to take the kids to the Dollar Tree, whoever wants to go. Um, I really don't want to take Kennedy because every time I take Kennedy to the Dollar Tree, gosh she wants everything so maybe I'll wait till Adam gets home and leave Kennedy with him and then tonight's a whatever night so I have practice at church um for praise team at six we're singing this Sunday I'm not singing a solo or anything I'm just we're singing a couple of Christmas songs it's our Christmas cantata so the choir is doing the cantata and then the praise team is doing two special songs in between all their songs I've been sick, so I've missed some practices and I'm still sick. Like I, I am supposed to sing 
Oh Holy Night on Christmas Eve. I think at both services and I'm like, um, <laughs> might have to pick an easier song because my, my voice is just, and I really haven't been able to practice because I have no privacy. Kennedy just went back to school today. And so I can do the Dollar Tree and pray scene. And the kids can have a whatever night. There's a mac and cheese cup still. There's um, Top Ramen, which I said I wasn't gonna buy, but I did. There's Top Ramen. We have double noodle soup that I got from the Campbells from when the school gave us some of the food. And Adam's work, uh, they had like a little Christmas party <clears throat> last week and they gave him like a little tiny ham and some sausage and cheese like you know one of those box bought the hillshire farm i don't whatever it is anyway i i cooked that ham in the crock pot yesterday it was teeny tiny but i just put in a bunch of potatoes and carrots and onion and then i made um some salad with it and there's some of that left over and there's also some of that soup you guys saw from the other night leftover which i'm sure nobody but adam will probably eat the leftovers the kids will probably eat top ramen <laughs> That was so long-winded. Okay, guys, I, I don't know. <sighs> so yeah, I don't know. I was just looking on Amazon and watching some other YouTube vlogs. I was watching our old Christmas vlogs and got sucked down that rabbit hole of memories, memories, memories. That, you know, I'm just gonna end the vlog with that. I am so thankful for this video diary of my family's life. There's almost 800 videos on this channel and I have hardly any subscribers. I don't really make any money off of it. And at first when I started it, I was like, I'm gonna make money. I'm gonna become fam not famous, but just like, you know, provide an income and it's gonna go great. And none of that happened, but man, I, to go back and watch just from the beginning to see how much the kids have grown and changed and everything we've gone through and gotten through and accomplished and overcame. Uh, so it's just, it's really nice to have, to have those memories. Um, so I, I am thankful for that. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna end this and comb my hair, but I probably won't comb my hair. I don't know why I said that. Uh, I'm just gonna drink my tea and comment down below if you watched last night's video and also the video from when we did the would you rather game the quality is crap so I don't know if it's just like our internet service like it's our house or if it's like that for everybody like I, I don't know I feel like last night's video looked really really bad all right guys that is it leave me a comment I love hearing from you guys that's what I should do right now is go respond to everybody's comments because I appreciate you all so much and I will put my email address in the description box because we don't know we, we no longer have a PO box I hope nobody was sending stuff because I had to cancel it I couldn't afford it like I felt like I didn't get enough mail in there to to pay for it so if you would like to become pen pals or you would like a Christmas card for me and the kids um I'll leave my email email address just um email me and then I will we can exchange addresses that way so we're not putting it you know in the comments and stuff okay guys take care christmas tendies and i will talk to you guys tomorrow bye oh i didn't turn it off whoops